A pre-mRNA strand with a 5-carbon cap and a 3-carbon cap with a polyadenine tail. Interspiceosome made of SNRMP and other proteins, and the SNRMP contain SNRNA. The SNRNA combines with the nucleotide bases of the pre-mRNA strand. This catalyzes the cutting, the cutting out of introns and the splicing together of exons. The, the spliced together exons are called a mature RNA, and the introns are cut out from this. Because of this catalyzed effect, the S and RNA are considered ribozymes, which is when RNA molecules function as enzymes. The presence of introns allow for the expression of more than one protein for each gene. Most genes, most genes express more than two, two or more polypeptides, which is called alternative RNA splicing. Activators bind with enhancers, and in order to reach promoters far away in the DNA, DNA bending proteins bend the DNA to get the activators closer to the promoter. Moderators and general transcription factors interact themselves with the promoter at the site and create a trans an initiation complex. The initiation complex then has an RNA polymerase to transcribe the rest of the gene. The LAC operon is very similar to the TRP operon in that it uses a repressor to disallow RNA polymerase to be able to transcribe the genes necessary for the synthesis of lactose. However, in this case, the repressor is naturally binded to the operator without the need of a co-repressor. Instead, it, it uses an inhibitor, in this case, allolactose, an isomer of lactose, to change the shape of the repressor and unbinding it from the operator. Once the repressor protein is unbound from the operator, RNA polymerase is then able to transcribe the genes necessary for the synthesis of lactose. TRP's operon consists of a promoter, an operator, and the genes involved in the transcription of mRNA, which transcribes the polypeptide subunits that make up enzymes that allow for the tr synthesis of tryptophan. The promoter also has a TATA box which indicates where all our RNA polymerase binds to the operon and, and begins to transcribe the gene. Further down the DNA, there is a tryptophan regulatory gene with its own promoter. And this transcribes mRNA which transcribes a repressor protein which is inactive until it is binded by tryptophan which acts as a co-repressor. And this occurs when tryptophan becomes an excess in the cell. So tryptophan binds with the repressor, and once the repressor is activated, it'll bind with the operator, and this inhibits the ability of RNA, RNA polymerase to transcribe the genes that, are, that allow for the synthesis of tryptophan. Once tryptophan levels are regulated and are back to normal, the repressor will unbind with the operator and allow for the synthesis of tryptophan again. And this is an example of negative, negative repressible feedback.